May 5th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy and great martyr Irene. In the time of St. Constantine the Great, King Licinius of the province of Magadan had a very beautiful daughter called Penelope. To protect her from all the corruption of the outside world, he had her shut from the age of six in a high and inaccessible tower in which she had every imaginable comfort. Waited on by thirteen followers, she was taught by a wise old man called Apelion. One day the girl saw a dove come into the tower, holding an olive branch in its beak and placing it on a golden table. An eagle then came and left a wreath of flowers which it was carrying in its talons in the same place. Finally, a black and foul-looking crow brought a serpent and put it there. When Penelope asked her master the meaning of these things, he explained that she must receive baptism, symbolized by the olive branch, and that after she had faced trials and afflictions, she would carry off the royal wreath of martyrdom. Shortly after this vision, an angel came to instruct her in the Christian faith and gave her the name Irene, which means peace. After having been baptized, Irene threw down her father's idols and faced his threats with manly resolution. Licinius furiously had her thrown under the paws of wild dogs, but one of them turned on the king and trampled him down. Restored to life at his daughter's prayers, Licinius was converted along with a great many of his subjects, and after having abdicated, he retired to the tower where he spent the rest of his days in tears of repentance. Sedecaius, his successor on the throne, tried to return the princess to idolatry, and in the face of her obstinate refusal had her thrown into a snake-infested pit. But by the power of God, Irene escaped from this trial, as from others that he inflicted on her, and converted many pagans to the true faith. When Sedecaius had been dethroned by his enemies, his son Sapor went to war to avenge him. But, both he and his army being struck with blindness, they were unable to move. Encountering Irene outside the town, they were healed by the saint, but persisted in the blindness of their souls and put her to further torture, making the young virgin walk three miles carrying a sack of sand, her feet pierced with nails. Affronted by this injury done to the saint, the earth opened and swallowed up a large number of the infidels. More than 3,000 of the survivors were converted, the king alone remained in, in, remaining inflexible and being chastised for this by an angel. Free from then on, Irene went through the town proclaiming the good news, and she gained the greater number of the people for Christ. She then went to the town of Kalinikan, where, having triumphed over the tortures to which she was submitted, she brought the people, including the prefect whom the king had charged with torturing her, to the faith. The saint's reputation reached King Sapor of Persia, who summoned her and had her beheaded. But an angel brought her back to life so that she could carry out her mission. She then went to the town of Mesembria, holding an olive branch in her hand as a sign of the victory of the faith over all the powers of death. After having baptized the king of the region and his subjects, she returned to her homeland and then went to Ephesus, where she worked miracles worthy of the apostles to support her preaching. Having completed this missionary work, St. Irene took her master Apelian and six disciples, and going into a newly hewn tomb, ordered them to close it behind her with a stone and not to return for four days. Two days later, Apelian went to the place and found the stone rolled away and the tomb empty, from which there comes the belief that the saint had been carried to heaven like St. John the Theologian. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and for the good of the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing, to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls by our intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. I shall sing to thee, O Lord my God, for thou didst lead thy people forth from the bondage of Egypt, and hast overwhelmed the charioteers of Pharaoh and his might. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Since thou art the crown of thy prize winner, O Christ, by her intercessions grant peace unto the world and unfading glory unto them that sing thy praise. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Shining with the splendor of virginity and adorned with the beauty of thy martyrdom, O Irene, great of name, Thou stands in the presence of thy bridegroom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beseech thy bridegroom to be merciful unto the churches, O godly-minded Irene, and to grant forgiveness of failings to them that praise thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy virgin, thou ineffably gave birth beyond speech and understanding unto God the Word, who has made flesh and became like unto us. The bow of the mighty is become weak, and the strengthless have girt themselves with power. Wherefore my heart is established in the Lord. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. And thou didst smell the sweetness of the myrrh that was poured out and made the world fragrant by grace. Thou didst soar unto love of him, O glorious Irene. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for Thou us. Thou art God is a help of fighting beside thee in thy struggles, O all-wise Irene. Wherefore thou threw down the tyrants and was crowned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was an unbending tower of virtues, a dwelling place of godly piety, and an abode of chastity and courage. O, o Lord in martyr, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rushing forth in its course till it encountered thee, O all blameless one, death was checked when it struck against him who was born of thee. Hence we call thee the first fruit of immortality. So wounded with thy beauty, Irene, the chaste virgin, disdained with ready zeal, all things seen, O Christ Saviour, and all of the comely grace of her body she willingly gave to bitter pains, to every torment and torture, 
that it be destroyed. And thou, O Master, hast led her to bright chambers passing fair. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, guide us all in the way of repentance, whoever turn aside to the byways of evil, provoking to righteous wrath the Lord God who is more than good. O most blessed Mary, who didst never know wedlock, refuge whereunto despairing men flee for succor and dwelling place of our God. Proclaiming the coming of thine appearance on earth, O Christ God, the prophet cried out with gladness, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. He that granted thee peace, O martyr Irene, namesake of peace, seeing thee fighting for his sake, filled thee with power and noble bravery. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for with us. With most earnest zeal, thou didst rise above the languor of women's nature, O all blessed martyr and each firmly rebuke them that served her own. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for Exhibiting us. Exhibiting a right godly endurance, thou didst overthrow the arrogance of tyrants while crying to thy bridegroom, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst extol the Master in supplications and unceasing hymns, O godly-minded Irene, and thou didst ascend unto him, beholding his inexpressible glory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We who have been saved through thee, O all pure one, we cry out joyously to thee with a voice of gladness. Rejoice, all venerable virgin, rejoice, all him Theotokos. Send down upon us thine enlightenment, O Lord and free us from the gloom of transgressions, O good one, granting us thy peace. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for With us. With a manly spirit thou didst openly confess Christ to be the God of all, O glorious prize winner, and with thy courageous speech thou didst put the adversaries to shame. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst long to walk in the path of Christ's passion, and thou didst fervently follow the Master by imitating him in the contest of thy struggles, O all-blessed Irene. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst offer unto Christ many companies of martyrs, O glorious one, whom thou hast truly instructed by thy wisdom and theology, and with the preaching of grace. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Initiated into the mystery of thy conception, and of thine ineffable and divine childbirth, we extol thee with all reverence, O all him Theotokos. When the prophet Jonas prefigured thy three-day burial, he cried out in supplication from within the sea monster, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, thou King of hosts. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Thou didst set a rider full of evil, O first mother, O prize winner, destroying the enemy's power and casting down his arrogance by divine grace. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Possessing a strong spirit, O Irene, thou didst range thyself against the tyrants with courage of soul, and thou wast crowned by Christ God with a crown of victory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou mayest the immaculate beauty of thy nature, yet more radiant in the blood of thy contest, steadfastly undergoing struggles of every kind, O fair virgin and martyr. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery of thy giving of birth was intimated when the God-seer beheld the bush that burned, yet was not consumed. 
O pure and ever-virgin Theotokos, Thou, O maiden, wast adorned with pure and virginal beauty. O Irene, and thou wast crowned with the bright crown of the martyrs, sprinkled with the blood of witness for Christ the Saviour. Thou didst work wonders of healings in divine manner, and didst gain the prize of victory in thy good contest, O thou great martyr of Christ. Aflame with childhood, with the love of Christ, thy bridegroom, O August Irene, whose praise is sung by all, Thou rannest like a thirsting gazelle to the ever-flowing fountains, and having preserved thyself in contest, thou hast entered into the truly incorruptible bride-chamber of thy Creator as a renowned bride, O glorious one, arrayed in a robe adorned in varied colors, seen to be elect, crowned, having received from the incorruptible bridegroom, as it were gold, the prize of victory in thy good contest, O thou great martyr of Christ. O thou great martyr of Christ! Once in Babylon the children of Abraham trampled upon the flame of the furnace, crying aloud in hymns, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou! O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Since thou stands wearing a crown before the throne of thy master, O honorable maiden, God of them that cry with faith, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Thou hast been deemed worthy to dance for joy in the heavenly tabernacles, O prize worthy martyr Irene while crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Yearning to attain to the beauty of thy beloved, thou didst endure the pain of torments, O Irene, while crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Faithfully following the words of thy lips, O Mother of God, we call thee blessed, and we cry unto thy child, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth indeed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant. Ye works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Thou didst contend courageously, O blessed Irene, and did cast down the tyrants, having the invincible might of thy master, lending the aid, and working together with thee. And thou didst cry, O works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. As a youthful maiden wounded with love, thou didst follow after thy bridegroom, O all-glorious Irene, bearing his sufferings in thy flesh and singing aloud, you works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thine endurance in torments, O glorious crown-bearer, Irene, love to scorn the vanity and godlessness of thine adversaries, and thou didst chant in faith, you works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the wisdom of God, the artificer of all, dwelt in thy womb, O Virgin Mother, he built himself a house and endured the mind and soul and saved the world, which cries out, You works of his, O seeing the Lord's praises, 
and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. If by the disease of disobedience brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth blessing for the world, wherefore we all magnify thee. O holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. As thou joins in choir round about thy beloved in the heights, O comely virgin Irene, Ask that peace be granted to the world and the remission of transgressions to them that celebrate with faith thy light bearing and all sacred memorial. Holy great martyr Irene, pray to God for us. Christ has made thee to dwell as a martyr and virgin in his bright chamber, where thou rejoices together with the virgins and a host of the martyrs. O all acclaimed crown bearer Irene, wherefore we all count thee blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He that alone is the King of all, and the Prince of Righteousness, open the gates of the heavens, and receive thine all blameless soul, O Irene, namesake of divine peace, Wherefore we all count thee blessed. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou hast boldness with thine own Son, that is never put to shame, O all Immaculate One, beseech him to grant peace to the world and conquer to all the churches, that we all may magnify thee, O all blameless Virgin. O comely virgin, give in strength by the blessed cross of Christ thy Lord. In noble contest thou brokest the boastful pride of the tyrants, and thus from Christ hast thou received the prize of victory, O Irene. Wise martyr, great in name and deed, and thou entreatest for all us who honor thee out of longing. Wisdom, O holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and honor the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisoes, the great brand and the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Irene, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Neophytus, Gaius and Gaianus, with the prayers of our father among the saints of Thymius, the wonder worker, bishop of Maditus, with the prayers of our father among the saints Hilary, archbishop of Arles, with the prayers of our righteous father, Mihaius, disciple of St. Sergius of Radonezh, with the prayers of our father James of Zelensky Varok, the recovery of whose holy relics we celebrate this day, with the prayers of our righteous father Adrian of Monza, with the prayers of St. Duma of Peterborough, with the prayers of St. Eka, St. Hydrock, and St. Gibrian of Ireland, and all of those with them, whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. 
and save us. Amen.